Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Turks and Caicos in Grace Bay and today what we have for you are 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Turks and Caicos and you can't believe how many great shocks there are here from the turquoise water to the people to the food there's all kinds of great stuff but we got to start with the first con the first conch yes the first conch the first shock when you come here is how much conch will play a role in your visit to Turks and Caicos I mean conch if you're not sure what conch is you know those really cool shells you see all over the place and they'll sell them all over the island here and it'll be in all the menus you're gonna have here conch conch and more conch and also the number of conch puns you'll actually hear it's it's unconscionable that I can't make more conch puns when I do do this but the thing is the shock about all the conch stuff is you can actually go dive for your own conch shell and it means you get your own souvenir and your own dinner because it is that cool to do so you might go down snorkel down you know maybe 10 15 feet go snorkel down grab one it looks like a dirty rock and you get off and they clean it off and you're like oh my god this is gorgeous but the thing that'll shock you again with that conch is not just you can dive for it but when they go down and they you get it and then they clean it out for you and they'll crack it and they'll this thing will come out the mollusk the actual conch part that you eat they'll take it out and they'll clean it for you and you they'll pull out this like clear greenish like little thing like here you want to eat this and mostly like no no it's like no it's an aphrodisiac you should have it and so you eat that and they're like you're gonna have a good time tonight guys ha 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 but it's so funny how much conch you will see when you are here. And the thing is, you will eat a lot of it, whether it is, you know, cracked conch or conch fritters or, you know, conch patties or conch salad or conch ceviche. I mean, it's just such a big part of this, the, the country here and the culture here that you'll be shocked at how much conch there really is. I mean, it's even on the flag when you're here. So that's the first thing, how much conch you can do when you are here. Now, the second thing that shocks tourists when they come here is there really isn't anything else to do except the beach here in Turks and Caicos. I mean, a lot of people, when they go different countries, they're like, oh, I want to get up to some of the museums, I'm going to some culture sites, and then I'll hit the beach for some activities or some things. No, not here. This is a beach, relax, repeat kind of place. So if you're looking for a lot of hustle bustle, doing lots of different things aside from the beach, you're going to be kind of shocked that there's not much else than that, okay? And that leads us into the third thing that's going to shock you is that, hey, there's nothing else to do aside go to the beach. I mean, the beach and all the water stuff that's here is just amazing. I mean, look at this turquoise water. It's gorgeous. Watching the sunset on it is gorgeous. You want to do stuff out here. Maybe you want to go snorkeling. They have one of the biggest barrier reefs in the world here. You can go snorkeling there. You can go scuba diving. You go to the coral, the coral gardens to see the fish there. I mean, right out here where those people are there we go out there there's fish swimming around i mean it's just really amazing when you're here and there's other things you can do there's parasailing there's fishing there's all kinds of cool water-based stuff so if you want a beach relax repeat vacation this place is shockingly perfect just for you and the fourth thing that shocks some tourists when they come here is actually when you're on the beach sometimes you actually get to see some of the dolphins but there's one specific dolphins that the locals love more than all the other dolphins and that's jojo i mean he even gets his own postcards here and, he, and he's gotten kind of lazy over the years but you'll see him sometimes swimming around and stuff like that so that's a nice little shock so, oh i can see some other like bigger things aside from little fish yeah yeah you can and i guess that should lead into our next shock when we're here is actually you also see these things called pot cakes and they're not a thing they're just the stray dogs that are here the thing is though you won't see them so much if you're at a resort beach and stuff like that because they've kind of shooed them away but if you're like at the, the the conch shack and down there you'll see a lot of these dogs walking on the beach and you might be shocked that if you fall in love with one there's actually an organization here that will help you figure out how to take that dog back home and what's cool if you want to volunteer for the pot cakes there's actually programs here where you can go walk the dogs you can go bathe the dogs heck you can take them to the beach it's kind of shocking if if you're missing i mean i'm missing my brig back home i know jocelyn is as well we went in and played with their puppies and did some stuff with the dogs on the beaches and stuff like that you can actually do that which is kind of shocking you're like oh i can get my dog fixed as well so i guess there is more than the beach the beach stuff and then your dog fix so we got that now the next thing that shocks tourists when they come here is actually the sticker shock I'm not gonna lie to you, Turks and Caicos is not a cheap place to come. The restaurants, the grocery store, the accommodation, the tours, I mean, it is a very pricey vacation to come here. Now, I will say one thing, I've paid very high prices for the stuff here, but I'm very happy with what I'm getting. So, you know, thinking about it, like a typical restaurant dinner entree is about $40, and so there is that, and like the taxi can be expensive, but I'll talk about the taxi shocks in a bit, but it is just a really kind of expensive place to go. So you do need to know that, okay? Okay. And also, my next shock for you is don't think that 
the price you see is the actual final price. Now, this goes many different ways, okay? One thing is if you go to a store, you have the price tag, but you have to realize is they add the sales tax on later, so that's gonna increase the price. If you go to a restaurant, you also tip 15 to 20%, so that's gonna raise the price. Though sometimes they put the service charge already on there, so make sure you look and see um, if they have. But also, you might be negotiating. Some of the people you might meet on the beach might offer you tours or a boat ride or something like that, and they'll give you a price. A lot of times you can negotiate those down. I mean, we did that for our contour, and it was a fantastic experience. We got it, you know, a lot less than what they originally started at because the people on the beach, they get a commission on the sales, so that's why they're approaching certain stuff. But overall, all the tours we've done have been really cool, and again, like I said, prices are high but they're well worth it but one of the things that might also shock you about the prices is they actually use the US dollar here in Turks and Caicos which is really nice so you hit up the ATM it just spits out dollars for you the prices are all in dollars so there's no try to do in the conversion or it's not like oh we have the Turks and Caicos money and the US money and you can use both no it's just the US dollar here also this is the British West Indies so they actually speak English here as well which can be shockingly easy for a lot of tourists especially if you're coming from the US I mean you don't have to change the language and and you can just use the money in your wallet, that's fantastic. I will warn you though, uh, credit cards are accepted at the restaurants and hotels and stuff like that, but the taxis, maybe not. And I think I should probably tell you uh, the shock about the taxis. And I think I'll put a lot of like driving shocks in there while we're at it. And the first shock you might have is when you get in that taxi and you ask the price. Now I talked about the sticker price, but the, pr the shock that sometimes comes with the taxis here is they might give you the price per person for that trip. Because the taxis, they are expensive and they might be per person. And so also you might be shocked that there might be other people in the taxi when you're going by because since you're paying for per person you've got that one seat and they can you know use the other seats out there now most of the time that's not really an issue the only time i've really we've had that a lot is when we're going back and forth to the airport there might be multiple people in there so there is that um, another thing that might shock you when you're driving here is actually they drive on the left here i mean it's a former british colony so they drive on the left and the thing is what what makes it tough is sometimes the cars will have the, the English British system where the, the drivers, you know, the driver is on the right side, but then sometimes they have US cars with the drivers on the left side, which can really throw you off. So just remember, if you're driving or doing a scooter ride or, or on a bike, make sure you stay on the left when you're on the road, okay? Because it can be a little dangerous with the driving here. And also the speed bumps here will break your back. So definitely slow down for those. Otherwise, you'll get a surprise of whacking your head on the top of the on the top of the car and coming back down. So what you might do with those high prices and the taxi experience, things like that, you might want to look at renting a car when you do come here. And if you're going to be driving a lot around an island, one specific island, you could just rent it for one day and it will be a lot cheaper than taking taxis all around. But we found that you don't really need to do it so much because a lot of times your accommodation, your hotel, your resort and stuff like that, they'll have their own pool, they'll have a kitchen out there. You can just hit up the grocery store nearby or the, the mini market, bring stuff back there and you're okay on one trip. And again, all you're doing is hitting the beach. And what's cool is the beach stuff is a lot of times if you book with your people on the beach, they're like, oh, come back here and we'll meet you here. Or they'll meet you at your hotel anyway. So you don't really need that rental car every day. So do check that out. And the thing is, just to get around all those things, you might just look at it staying in all inclusive here because they'll pick you up and bring into the all inclusive and everything will be taken care of. So you really don't have to go out and explore too much when you are here. Now, I'm not saying don't go explore because there's some awesome stuff here. We went to Iguana Island and we got to see iguanas fighting and stuff like that. And, and the water and the snorkeling tours and all this stuff there's a lot of great things to do learn how to sail or do some kayaking or paddle boarding your resort or your all-inclusive or just your normal resort they can help set you up with those things so go and do some of those things so you don't have to really think about the transport because also there's no public transportation here so might as well just chill out your resort and have everything based out of there and my last shot for you when you come to Turks and Caicos is you gotta remember beach relax repeat everybody is on island time when you're here if you're used to the hustle and bustle and go 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 you're gonna need to adjust your attitude and your time frame to turks and caicos okay because service you know getting your, your drink getting your ordering getting your bill getting your taxi getting your tour set up all these things it just goes a little bit slower like i mean the passport control takes quite a bit of time when you're coming into the country so you know i have that in our don'ts actually it's one of our first don'ts of T tci is don't dawdle at the uh, 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 on your plane because it just takes more time okay so just if you come with the attitude like hey i'm hitting island time it's all about beach relax repeat 
you're gonna be just fine. And the thing is with all this relaxation and all the really great food when you're here, and it's not just conch by the way, if you're here in season, the lobster's great. We have all kinds of great seafood you can have when you're here. It's very seafood based and very wonderful, but but you, you can't believe how much you really will enjoy your time here in Turks and Caicos. I hope this little fun little culture shock one can help you enjoy Turks and Caicos a little bit more. If you want some more serious kind of travel stuff, we've got what you should know before you come to Turks and Caicos. We got a video on the don'ts of Turks and Caicos. We have stuff to what you should pack when you come here because man, you'll be shocked how burned you get when you come here. So make sure you're using that sunblock and the no seams. Oh, they will eat you alive. So do have a heads up for those. Anyway, if you want to learn more, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we put out honest travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help other fellow travelers like you, like me, go and enjoy more of the world and enjoy more of the world and the cultures that are out there. So we'll say thank you to everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to find us on other social media, we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all the big ones out there. You can find us at Walter's World. Also, we want to give a big shout out. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon who help make honest travel videos like this possible. If you want to keep help keep us making these honest travel videos, why not check out patreon.com slash Walter's World to see how you can help out. Anyway, I'll say bye from here in Turks and Caicos.